Hey everybody, today's video is talking about dry food, more specifically the type of dry food you're feeding your fish. I've addressed this in a previous video, but I wanted to quickly say it again. I use NLS because it's great food and I get it on Amazon Prime. They ship it to my house for free in like 24 hours and it's a beauty. I don't even need to leave my house waste gas driving to the fish store, I just click a button and it shows up at my house. So I'm not a hardcore NLS freak, I just know it's great food and I get it from Amazon, so that's why it's all NLS. Anyways, today's video is about flakes versus pellets. Now the old school fish food was exclusively flakes, nobody was doing pellets, but over time they developed new methods to make fish food into pellets and today I'd like to say that pellets are way better than flakes and they are way better for a number of reasons. One, they're, they have a higher density so the food manufacturers can make more food per volume or in other words density is considered to be mass over volume. So you actually get more nutrition delivered to your fish via a pellet than you do for a flake. And NLS actually warns here on the flakes. I do use flakes. Like I grind it up into a powder for my Bosmani and my Rainbow Fry. And I also feed it to teeny tiny little uh, cichlids that come out. But NLS says right there that flake food can't sustain larger fish. It just doesn't deliver the proper density and so that's why if you have you know even these rainbows are I feed them the one mil pellet so you should switch from flakes the other thing that people don't realize is that flakes have a higher surface area they're these perfectly flat uh, pieces of food and that higher surface area causes more of the nutrition the vitamins and the minerals and the micronutrients to dissolve out of the flake into the water. And then when the fish eats it, it doesn't get as much nutrition. Whereas if you have a pellet, the sphere, it doesn't leach as much into the tank and it actually delivers more nutrition, but it delivers more micronutrients to the fish. It doesn't all dissolve out. In fact, some medicated flakes, they say the fish has to eat the flake within 10 or 15 seconds or else you basically lose the efficacy of the medicated flakes. So consider switching to pellets if you haven't already. I mean, I've done a video already, but NLS does medicated pellets and they simply deliver more nutrition and more medication to your fish. So yeah. The other thing I'll say is that if you have specific species of fish, like for me it's my rainbows, you can buy a floating pellet and the, the food stays at the surface of the tank and the fish eat it all up and you literally get zero waste. Because the, the nitrogenous waste that fish produce, either they're going to eat it and metabolize it and take a lot of those amino acids out of the food or the food's going to fall to the bottom and it's all those amino acids are going to get converted into nitrogenous wastes. So the more food your fish eat, the less wastes end up in your water. So if you have fish that like to surface feed, also consider switching to a floating food and you will see your water parameters stay a lot better because you're not wasting as much food. Obviously, some fish like cichlids, pseudotrophius, trophius, geophagus, they all like to eat off the bottom, and therefore you got to do that type of sinking pellet. I'd love to know what kind and type of food you guys feed your fish and what type of fish you have. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any more tips for people about food type and feeding. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have yourselves a great day.